Let's go. All right. Yeah. It's in the manzanita. It's got to be the match, dude. I More, probably. <laughs> Holy thunders. I'm counting on myself. Having myself a really nice shed. All right, guys, good morning. It's day number two. Last uh, day of this quick little trip. And uh, let me give you guys a tour of our truck camp. We're kind of breaking down, getting ready for the second day hike, but this is what I had going on. I had my, my bedroll, my canvas cutter bedroll. I had a little Camp Chef stove last night, cooking dinner, a little Yeti cooler. Brought my Yeti camp chair. And then Ben is the king of truck camping. He's got his whole setup. Wild game sandwiches that Ben made at home. So he had his whole setup over here. This is where we cooked dinner last night. And then let me introduce you to Skylar. Welcome to the video, Skylar. What's up, guys? First appearance on our channel. Yep. Uh, so Skylar and his wife have a YouTube channel called Skynick Hunting. Is hunting in the name? Yep, is it Skynick, Skynick Hunting. hunting yep. Yeah. So if you guys want to watch his video in perspective of some of the sheds he found, you can go to his channel. He picked up this sweet underbull. And he also picked up this hard white and we were just doing the math on the maps and he found these in the same general area that Ben and I found the white. So there's definitely a pocket last year where the bulls hung out and shed. Funny thing is he, he came pretty dang close to both of these and missed them. I left them there for you guys. It yeah, felt he felt bad. You guys hadn't found anything all day. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's the stack I mean that's that was a uh, three guys stacking probably like at least eight nine miles each I'll bet yeah my goal yesterday was five sheds I got two one brown one white one I glass and uh, the goal today is I'm just gonna keep it simple and hope for two I am gonna pack my optics again today and try to get high and get some elevation to do some glassing we're getting start a late start <clears throat> most of these trips turn into there's definitely shed hunting, but there's a lot of hanging out, which is honestly most of the fun. I Yo, I, got a cut left. I just snaked Ben again. Snaked his oh, line. The Check this out. So I was hugging this rim that goes into this creek bottom. I was like, Ben, I got to take a left because it's uh, well, I, it's either that or dive into the creek bottom and boom. He wanted to take my line. Took his line, snagged the brown. We'll take it. We'll Bloody snake him from Ben any day. <laughs> holy cow I, I have not found many brown antlers so this is going to the shed count of 100 i'm counting that there's not many deer sheds i count but if they're brown i'm counting them so i said two sheds today you're on it dude but i was like talking about elk so oh, we're yeah, still trying to find two elk them. let's keep moving nice dude yeah i haven't really been in like deer country and when I walked this bench yesterday, which was just a couple hundred yards to the west, I noticed there's a lot of deer droppings. Kind of surprised. So not surprised we found one, but wasn't necessarily looking for it. So Ben says he found my other side. I don't know if it is. Let's check it out. What did I tell you, bro? I'm like, I'm going to pop up on this bench. That's you did. the other side is. It is the other side. Don't Dude, deer don't set. Don't question my judgment. What's up? Nice one. Nice, pick that baby up. Oh yeah, brownie. Just uh, same like base, smooth. A little better back fork though. Yeah, not bad, right? We'll take that all day, yeah. twice on Sundays. Heck yeah, we got a set. A little deer sets, so you guys know Let's how it go. goes. The person who finds the second set always keeps the set. Good thing we got. I tried to match up Ben's elk set yesterday and unfortunately I ended up just having myself a really nice shed. <laughs> <laughs> that he picked up for me but uh that's why you have good buddies he matched up this set for me so stoked on that check it out It's about 2.30 p.m. And I'm not even where I need to be or want to be. 
which is a complete guess by the way, but I'm going up this steep slope and there's elk track going up with droppings all the way. So I know they've been in the area, maybe um, a bit too recent for sheds, at least these tracks, but I feel like if I get high and glass, I might be able to find a south slope where they hung out. Or, yeah, I'd just be able to glass a lot, but, oh man, we got a late start because we chatting too much. And even if I get up here into a good spot, I won't have much time to hit it. So I'm trying to get to the tip top, ride the Razorback Ridge, check for tracks and beds, glass the next south slope, and uh, hope we can find something. I just turned the camera off, guys, showing you the trail I had been on, which it went left and it went right. But right up here, I got a white antler in the wide open. And the funny thing is, I glassed this zone from a long distance away, kind of low, so I didn't have really good elevation. But I definitely couldn't see the antler from my angle, or I just wasn't looking close enough, or it was behind that big bush. But we got a right antler that is white. Doesn't look giant, it's either a nice five or a small six. So let's go get that one. And uh, we might just find ourselves a little zone. It's right in this little pocket right here with brush and burn and it just tines down over there. So heck yeah, heck yeah. Feels good to get one on the board and it looks like a hard white from last year. Oh, we're doing pretty good on last year's horns. Yeah, it's nice and solid. What do we got under there? Does it fork? Nope, it's busted. All right. Hmm, what do we got? What do we got? It's bleached on both sides. Wonder if it ever got kicked over. I always wonder that. I mean, it doesn't have any color. Huh. Well, I like this little brushy draw so we'll get some elevation so we can look across but it's not a lot of country but right through here might be a pretty good little spot yeah and uh even if it's all white antlers we'll pick those up all day but check out this elk sign and elk track so it's got to be some more in here <laughs> let's do it let's go one on the board and it's it's actually super heavy for what it is well we've got an interesting find guys I was up here glassing some high country, uh, you know, obviously looking for sheds. And I stood up and I got a little vantage point to look down and it looked really brushy to my left. So I'm like, oh, let me check that out. No sheds. And then I kind of looked to the right and I'm like, well, I just passed that, but I didn't look down there and glass. So I glassed down there and saw a rib cage instantly. And I was like, oh, that's odd. It's got to be a bull. It's an elk carcass. It's got to be a bull. And so I kept moving to try to see if I can find antler. And I think over there, I just could make out white antler. So I'm gonna get my spotting scope on it and see what it is before I drop down there. Good chance that there's a, a dead bull elk. And if, if what I see is antler, it looks like the base of a left side with a G1 and two going up. Looks bleached white and it looks pretty heavy. <laughs> Well, it feels good to have a purpose to use this dang thing because I've been carrying it around the last two days without using it much at all. And I think it's going to help me confirm what I believe is to be a dead bull. And if it is, we'll drop down and we got to lose a bunch of elevation, but at least we'll have something fun to go look at. This is exciting. I'm pretty confident it's a bull. And has potential to be a big one. Yep, it's a dead bull, guys. I'll try to reposition this to where I can get some uh, video through the scope so you guys can see what I saw, but the rib cage is clear as day. The head is down the ridge a little bit, so that's pretty wild. If I get a little elevation, I might make it a little easier to look through. 
So that's the rib cage I glassed. I knew it was an elk right away. And it took me a minute to find the antlers, but they're just to the left. So let me pan over there and I'll show you. Okay, so there's the antler. It's the left antler, I can tell. Uh, I can't tell how big it is, but you can see the G1 and 2 and then the main beam. Well, that's all I can see from up here, so let's go down and check it out. Calling the fish cop. Hello. Hey, is this officer? Yeah, it is. Hey, this is, uh, my name is Eric. I'm out here on the, and uh, just stumbled across a dead bull elk that I wanted to turn in. It's down below me. I haven't gone to it yet, but it's just, I glassed it down below me and I have service up here, so I don't want to drop down. Do you have, uh, can you get a GPS coordinates? Absolutely, yeah, I could definitely. Yeah, like, yeah if you have like Onyx or whatever, ready, hopefully next week I can start going into them and check them out. But uh, yeah, it's just going to let you know that potentially somebody else could have turned in, but I haven't had one turned in over yeah. there. Yeah. So should be good. Is it all right if I drop you a pin through text right now and then I'll get like a more accurate one when I get down to it and just check it out? Yeah, and if you just want to send me the one where where it is, and that works later when you get back in the service. So. All right, well, I'll let it be for now, and I'll send you a pin to the closest guest right now and then get a better, better look at things when I get down there. Okay, sounds good. All right. All right. Thank you. Yep, we'll see you. Bye. Well, this is no fun. I thought I could get down, straight down to that bull, but I was ledged up. I had to go a couple slot canyons over to get to this one. And I'm pretty sure I can get down by just right there. And then I got to cut across a couple draws. Wow. Because I don't want to get too excited on this thing. But I had to get around these ledges and uh, drop down this little funnel. That was kind of sketch. But I got a new angle on the elk. And that left antler looks pretty dang big. And it kind of looks like it's got velvet on the royal. So that's interesting, but um, it looks pretty big. Like I think it's an inline seven point on that left side. What's it gonna be, guys? What is it going to be? Obviously wish this was just a giant white set of sheds, but it's not, so. It looks pretty dang big, guys. I don't want to get excited, but I'm getting excited. I mean, maybe it's not mega giant, but it looks heavy. Oh man, it's all weird. What the heck? What the freaking heavy? Whoa, whoa, what an absolute freak. Holy cow. Look at that, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then what is this? One, two, three on the beam, four, five, six, seven, eight. Jeez, that's an old bull. What the crazy is going on with this thing? That thing is ancient, man. Somebody's got to have some knowledge on this thing. It's just too unique not for someone to recognize it or something. So here's the head, and then there's the carcass. That's what I glassed up right over there. Pretty wild. Interesting observation. This bull's left foot was busted right above the hoof and swollen, like a, or it has a big old tumor or something. So that's his left side, and typically the right side antler will have an effect. So look at how goofy the right side ended up, because he had a le left side injury on his leg. Which is probably why he ended up all goofy. I think he's a super old bull, just to have that type of mass. To have that kind of mass and that kind of antler growth just seems like it's an old bull. I haven't really looked at its teeth, but ivories are small. And they're not horrible teeth, but I mean, you don't get mass like that without being, at least being pretty dang old. Look at the freaking mass. So he was uh, still in velvet, as you can see. 
probably injured and just, you know, obviously injured. We know he's injured because his leg. And not rubbing his antlers, not really doing the program. Just probably doing the bare minimum and died down here in this hole. We've got it reported. That's really all we can do. We have to leave it behind. You're not supposed to tamper with them. So I'm not even going to pick up the head or do any of that. But this is the carcass. This is what I can glass from above. Look at that. Holy smokes. What the freak happened there? It's like a dang tumor. <laughs> That's wild, guys. I find a lot of deadheads over the years, but this one, this one is a weird one. So all we can do now is wait for the officer to do his job and keep in touch with him. So I have to leave it just sitting there. Rules are rules. Got to follow them here. And uh, you can't take deadheads in the state of Utah. This is what you're supposed to do is call them, send them coordinates, and they can come up and do a little investigation. And then from there, I have to request the head. So fingers crossed, guys. I'll let you know. Well, we're getting to the truck. Looks like Ben is here. So I'm going to show Ben a few photos. Not the whole thing, but just enough to see what he thinks. So let's see what he thinks of these few photos I got of the bull. Yo, yo. What's up, dog? Yo, dude. Slow today, huh? Dude, I was like, oh, man. I got burnt out, and then um, my feet, man. I tried a new pair of boots today, and they weren't liking it, so I came back and watching the movie. Just tell me what you think. Swipe to the other side. Ooh. Okay, what's your name? Ooh, bro. Man, <laughs> what's good? Oh my gosh, bro. That's like freaking mass monster. Is that all the pictures? Come on, bro. Yeah, mass monster. We set we set you up. Um What do you mean you set me up? I just put those pictures like in so order. I right there. Able to sweep, swipe yeah, okay, over. watch this one. Oh my gosh, dude. Freaking Oh, he's so sick, bro. Just a freak, dude. Oh, my heck. Oh, a little point on the beam. He's, like, heavy, heavy, heavy. Do you think he could have got shot in archery, or you think he's just... Uh, dude, he's got a tumor on his leg. Oh, I mean, yeah. if someone hit him, they hit him in the leg, but... I, I could have done that. I could have. I don't oh, know if he just... Oh, man, he's got those dream fronts. Dude, he's freaking maybe. Yeah, keep going to where you can, like, see the dang thing. He's weird. You got to get that one, dude. I know. I, dude, I want that one so bad. It's not often you find one you really, really want. Well, we're just going to drive down the road to pick up Skyler. Nothing? No. Dude, well, that's no. brutal. Today got us, man. Today got us. Hey, before we leave and say adios, I want you to look at these photos real quick. Okay. Tell me what you think. You can slide over. Heavy, huh? What in the world? What does the rest of them look like? I'll show you. I just got to give you those ones at first. <laughs> that thing looks crazy. He's just a freak, but he is kind of cool. Old bull that's just regressed, probably. He had a big injury on his foot. Really? So. All right, guys. Say adios to uh, Skylar and Ben. Go check out their videos on their channel. Again, it's in the description box, but... Thanks to these guys for the good time. And Bye. See we'll have later. to do it again, man. We need redemption. Uh, Guess what, guys? After a long wait, over a month and a half, I'm finally meeting with the fishing game officer to go retrieve that bull. So I'm stoked that we can include it in the video so you guys get to know whether I get to keep it or not. But I'm just here where we pulled off, and I'll be meeting with the officer here shortly and hiking up to see, well, let's hope the bull is still there, and then let's hope after his investigation I get to keep it. Good news guys, it's still here. What a goofy one. So officer's gonna come down and check it out.
Dang, that thing's nasty. Hey guys, I'm back home now, and uh, I'm gonna have my buddy Tori show, show you this head, because I'm gonna take it to the taxidermist to get it European mounted. But we got the, the slip from Fishing Game, so we can keep it. Um, we have, we did everything right. So that's kind of what I wanted in this video to uh, showcase is follow the steps. I know every state is different when it comes to deadheads, but if you're in Utah, you find a deadhead, if you want to keep it, show it off, you're going to have to turn it in, do it the right way. I got rewarded with this one. So finders keepers, the officer did his investigation and you guys got to see the result of that. But look at this freak Mondo. <laughs> So Tori's over here, you can set it down. I want to show off some of these, some of the mass on the beams. This is next level mass. You guys who hunt know when the main beams are that heavy, it's pretty heavy. It's just that I'm sure with that injury right here, yeah, 40 on the inside, which when we have antlers or shed antlers and we want to put a score to them, we always just add 40 for an estimated width. but. Super freaky bull, and I'm so glad. Yeah, look, look at this five, four, five inch palmation, like just a freak. And I'm glad I got to keep it, and I'm glad I was able to get the results before this video came out. So now you guys got to see start to finish the whole process of uh, recovering the deadhead here in Utah. Hope you guys enjoyed another shed tour video. I'm still motivated. I still got trips to keep going. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, just a tease, but we got new hats in the works and if you guys want to check out all our merchandise get hushin.com You know the deal. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you on the next one